Okay, everyone, so we're going to go ahead and open the Asus rug Extreme Alpha. The Zenith series has obviously come a long way, and this is the second generation introducing for the more high portion of the head room that you can gain in the Threadripper series. Now, personally, myself, I'm running a 2950X, which is awesome, but there are people that are doing the 29. 90WX and that series that goes beyond the 16 cores that I'm rocking and this is where you're going to gain a lot of cool stuff so let's go ahead and unbox this. Alright so very cool I'd like to think it's almost like a transformer set situation where it just slides in and out so let's go ahead and digest what's in the very first top portion. So with the most stuff out of the way now you can see that this is just literally the craftsmanship of a very good box and it being the motherboard itself which is very freaking cool. I'm digging that it has dual fans for that the heat spread the additional pins because mine didn't have that mine was the originally when I was running mine was the the prime which is great I mean for a Threadripper introduction of a board that's actually not too bad. It's like you're very introductory, but I needed something better for my Threadripper to really breathe and get the job done that I was wanting. So let's go ahead and open up the rest side of the box. Hold on, I just want to do this. I thought this was pretty cool. That's just a really awesome sound. That one was way cooler sounding. I wish that was really close. It sounded like a little jet engine. Like... It does show really quick the Wi-Fi uh, antennas out this during the bottom. Personally, I'm not going to use those. I'm very LAN. Um, Bound. I love anything with an Ethernet connection. It's just the way you want to be. Ah, one more. Okay, everyone. I know we're going to get to the other stuff in the box, but I wanted to do this, but also showcase what we're rocking in the back. I know a lot of people have definitely done this and explained before in the past, but for my channel and for my awesome viewers that are there and new people, this is rocking a really good generation. You literally have your own BIOS, which this comes with its own flash key. So you get your own thumb drive that you can literally exclusively just keep with it. So I love how they did that because it just keeps you from plugging something in and a driver loading in it. And then later on you need to do something and then it just frees up the spot. You don't have to. And then it has two different situations, a 10 gig port and then your normal Ethernet cable so you can run two. I'm probably just going to take advantage since I actually am writing a gigabyte. You know, it's not in the 10 gig class, but why not let it just coast down that freeway that's just open up like the auto bond. Type C instantaneously was awesome. And I believe these are more of the 3.1s rocking right here with the super solid state of 3.0s. Literally just littering this like on top of it. You have a pretty cool BIOS like when you're flashing these situations to activate it. But another cool thing that I thought was um, more of a interesting situation was a clear CMOS. So just in case you end up screwing something up so much, you can just flush it and really quickly get into those. Those are really fun. You have a really nice fiber optic out and an awesome array of stuff for the situation goes in audio departments and line outs, line ins, mic ins, and even like your C um, subs. So you can get some subs and your, I guess, rears as well. So you have like pretty much a 5.1 surround with your Wi Fi. So I like that. That's pretty much cool. Nice little flyby of the motherboard so everyone can kind of see the pins, the connectors, the details. Because you might be wondering where your channel lineups are, your fans. Decent amount of RAM, all the nice little transistors. It's a neat board. I mean, it's very well put together. I like it a lot. I also like my DIMM, too, so I can take out my nice little M.2 and just put it conveniently in a nice little connected spot rather than it just being, like, glued under something. It's actually got a home, so I'm very excited about that. So let's get inside the box. So you have your motherboard tech updates. It tells you exactly what you need to do in order to install your Wi-Fi, direct, all these other situations. So if you have some technical issues with it, they have a nice little bulletin board besides these really cool, awesome stickers that you can just decorate everything in your life with. Because yes, become the billboard. Now, I can kind of see this just happen right there. It's not that big of a deal. It's just cardboard, but what does matter is that everything's secure inside of here. And it comes with a lot of connectors. So it's kind of cool you have all your Pretty much your SATA connectors, pin connectors, ooh, like the extenders. I remember someone mentioning something like this, that this was the extension key for like um, the extender for the fan headers. 
if you wanted to run a lot. But I do like the clothing that they have on this. This is pretty high grade crap right here. And these look like antennas. Yes. You can boost everything. So I'm going to conveniently go ahead and put all those back inside of there. So you have your department of cables in the very first bin. That's how it should be. It's like the spaghetti mess comes out of here. So let's go ahead and open up door number two. Now this was what I was talking about earlier where people were mentioning this is like you're out. Alright, where are you? I'm going to pause and get this out. Now that I got it out, is your fan header. Very, very cool. I want to point out how cool that is. It came with its own tools. Like, it's... That is so sweet. And by the way, this is an extender slot. Just if you were wondering the last piece that I pulled out. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Now that I got that, let's go ahead and get this. This is your SLI. So if you're running dual cards and you want to make sure that they're running in tandem, they give you that option too. You can run better than physics. And you can run faster in 4K. And now door number three. This is going to be a pin connector directly going into the motherboard for the extender portion of your HUD LEDs. Pretty much everything that you like, you run your um, front panels to an operation, how to turn on and off the computer. This was what I was talking about this earlier that was cool. This is your USB. Oh, wait, neat. That is like a small little thumbnail of a drive. The other ones that they had before were... Uh, like actually like look like a key tag but this one I like it's very sleek but don't lose it like dear gosh that thing is really tiny you can lose that pretty fast some screws probably more than likely for an M.2 expansions um, yeah because there's a lot of like little mini thermal heat pads and again a lot of these are probably referenced directly inside the manual they're actually they're fair use but there's something very cool underneath here which is oh this is it this is it this is where if i really wanted to put this is the more important portion and i'm glad that it came with this oh man look at that oh you could put all your m.2s right here they're cooled and they're just accessible it's so freaking cool you can put two of them yeah the final situation is we have two compartments as we pull out we have a pog styled coaster um, some cool coupon points that I can use for instructions for the fan headers um, I think this is a thank you for purchasing something really freaking expensive so I think that's pretty cheer um, and then my actual physical reading up material which is great so let's see what's in the bottom box I did think this was cool I didn't want to overlook this the Asus logo the Gamer Republic. And the last situation is our Wi-Fi connectors. Now, neat. Now, I remember the last video, the other person showed that they actually had a... Oh, so it's just a one single antenna. It just connects directly in there for the extension. Cool. Right on. You can see right here what I mean by that. This should be two ends, which it is. And then this just conveniently opens up. And then that just holsters itself as the key lock. One of these ways is going to work. Um, let me figure this out real fast. It's like a shock food. Yeah, so pretty much you just feed it in from top. You have to take these off and then bam, that's what's up. Okay, everyone. So this is the unboxing of the Threadripper styled row. Because they do have another version for Intel's like more cores, which is pretty cool. But my choice was AMD on like the multi-core die sets, which is really cool. So if you're new to the network and you definitely dug this and you're this far in, you might consider slamming and just punching that subscription button. Just give it a nice smack and then it's free. I never ask anything from my community. And if you're definitely digging this, you can hit a like and stay tuned for more cool nerdy unboxings in 4K and hopefully 8K in the future. Anyways, I have to install this and I'm going to be AFK away from the keyboard for quite some time. Anyways, everyone, have a very nice day and thanks again for staying tuned for me unboxing the Rogue Zenith Extreme Alpha by Asus because apparently it's the choice of champions and you can be the choice of the gamers Republic or the Republic of Gamers, whichever you might choose. But this is going to be me signing out saying peace. It's your boy Max saying have a nice one.